Hey guys, Luke C here from TFB TV. We're back here on the SHOT Show room floor for SHOT Show 2024. We're here with Surefire and Andrew to talk about some of their new weapon lights. Andrew, what do we got here? Yeah, man, so um, XR1, we've also got an XR2. Uh, we have shown this at a SHOT Show or two. Yeah, this is like a, our, our fourth, third or fourth year in a row. Eh, you know, who's counting? Um, we're actually gonna be shipping this soon. Uh, this, will be, this will be dropping very, very soon. Excited about it. There's been several changes over the years that, made, that just made it better. Um, overall, basically, it's a it's a mid-size compact uh, weapon light, uh, meaning that you know it, it's really at home on a Glock 19 and, okay. and pistols of that su size range. It's not going to stick past the muzzle of a, of a G19. It's not going to be wider than a Glock 19. Um, obviously, you see there's two reflectors, two LEDs. It's 800 lumens and 15,000 candela. Okay. Uh, it's a rechargeable battery. That's a removable cartridge, kind of similar to the layout of a XSC. Um, so you can pull the battery out pop a new one in if you're training. Um, ambidextrous controls, momentary, or you give it a quick tap for constant on. Okay. Um, XR2 is the light laser version. It's a top mounted laser. Comes in both a, a red and a green laser. Still with the two reflectors though, right? Exactly. Cool. Yeah, and the footprint of, of the XR1 and the XR2 are exactly the same. So holster compatibility, if you have a, a you know, a, a holster made for an XR2, an XR1 will fit it and vice versa. Got it. Can you uh, swap the batteries between the two? Does it take the same batteries? Same batteries. Okay. Yep. And I noticed the battery has a neat little feature on it. Uh, it. You charge the battery and it has a little indicator on the inside that tells you how Cor much life you've got left in it. Correct. Yeah, cool. you see two lights out of here. Um, just a quick fuel gauge so that you can check on the, uh, the life of the battery. And uh, are you expecting the XR1 and the XR2 to come out roughly at the same time or is maybe the XR2 a little bit further down the road? Correct. So XR1 shipping first, XR2 red will come next and then the green. Cool. Yeah, and the, so the ones are about to start shipping. All right, so they're about to start shipping, so they're right around the corner, and if it doesn't happen, you know who to blame again. These comments are going to be glorious. <laughs> How much are they going to cost? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> oh, see that we me see real quick. Okay, <laughs> MSRP, 449 for the XR1, uh, and I think the red XR2 is about $600. The green's a little bit more than that. Right, because of the green LEDs or emitters are always a little bit more expensive. Absolutely, anyway. yeah. It. All right, and then now we've got a new tape switch, or yeah, a new yeah. momentary switch, or actually new switch. Uh, what, what's this one called? Yeah, it's a CSP um, and then a CSM. Uh, so the CSP is on this gun right here, Picatinny, P for Picatinny, uh, CSM, M for M-Lock. Um, basically, it's a compact uh, dome-style switch, similar to what you saw on our SR07 okay. switches. Um, it is intentionally a longer throw so that you can pretty consistently momentarily use it or, or momentarily activate it. Uh, and then you can also push all the way to click it for constant on. Um, just takes up a lot less rail space, very ergonomic. Um, and like I said, it's easy to use both in momentary and you can still click it for constant on. Yeah, I really like the design of the, the wings here that protect it when you're when you're going for activation. Just resting your thumb on the top of it, yep. it's it's easy to, to momentary it on without accidentally, you know, under recoil popping the, the thing into uh, constant on. 100%, yeah. And we're not discontinuing the SR07. It's just another option on our line. You know, okay. we pride ourselves in having absolute the most comprehensive line of long gun weapon lights. Don't worry about that little guy. Uh, you know, from mini scouts to turbo scouts to, uh, you know, both M-Lock and Picatinny options, the Scout Pro mount, extremely versatile and that you can run it in line, you can run it offset. Um, we have multiple pressure switch options. We have multiple tail caps that take pressure switches. So um, we also have our, our Vampire White and IR right. line of lights. So this is just another um, component to that and having options for our customers to be flexible and accommodate their needs. Now speaking of options, uh, would, do you think sometime down the road there might be a possibility of a dual lead? We've got, yeah, so it's not on the roadmap right now to be mm -hmm. honest, um, but we've gotten a lot of interest in that. So uh, it, it very well might be, a, might be a thing. As of right now, not on the list, um, but yeah, a lot of people have been asking that, so so maybe. Yeah, it seems like uh, it might be a natural progression, that, absolutely. Uh, if, especially if this one kicks off. Yeah, it, yeah. Theoretically, you can make a much smaller version of our SRDIT, yeah, which is our current dual lead pressure switch, but yeah. it's kind of big. And uh, what are we talking about in terms of uh, availability date and price? So price is to be determined on this. I think it's going to be probably around 130 bucks, um, okay. and uh, it should be available within Q1, I'm told. So. Get awesome. at me in them comments. <laughs> Come after Andrew for your switch. I'm, I'm here. Cool. Well, I think that wraps it up. That was a that was a lightning quick uh, presentation with the. But I mean, hey, the XR1 and XR2 are are coming. Yep. This yep. time, and we've got a brand new switch. Yeah, yeah. So you know, we're trying to do a better job of not what we did with the XR1 and XR2 yeah. by not showing stuff 
that is not ready to ship soon. Right. Um, and so we're trying to reduce the amount of products. Uh, RC3 launch is still fresh for us. Obviously, we're still pushing the RC3 really hard and super proud of the performance of that suppressor. Yeah. Uh, but like I said, we're trying to not show things that are not going to be shipping soon. So yeah. uh, that's that's the deal. The, sh the surefire edging is, is coming to an end, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks, Andrew, for showing us the XR1, XR2, and the new Switch. And guys, thank you for tuning in to TFB and TFB TV Showtime. Stay tuned for more from SHOT Show 2024. Thank you.